Jake Browning is him. Jake Browning is Himothy. Jake Browning is Himothy Rex! Oh, you thought that Jake Browning wasn't as good as Joe Burrow? Well, he, he, he's not, but he's pretty damn close! Guys, I... First off, first off, first off, first off, our defense sold in this game. <laughs> our defense sold, Tyler Boyd sold, um... Dax Hill drops an interception in the end zone, but I don't even care anymore, bro. I'm just happy this game is over with, and we won this damn game. Oh my gosh, this game was a roller coaster of events, guys. I cannot stress that enough. Look at this right here. This is a roller coaster. My blood pressure right now, my heart is beating, beating. First off, Jacksonville, I am... I. Very, very sad about Trevor Lawrence. I hope he's okay. I hope he recovers. I hope there's nothing, you know. I hope this is not a seed in any injury. I hope this is just a scare and this comes back negative. I really do. I, I'm so, I'm beyond sad to hear, like, to see that play. That play was awful and it wasn't a dirty play, but it was still a play that, you know, it's football and it happens. But beside that, C.J. Beathard also played very good. Our defense collapsed when C.J. Beathard came in. Collapsed. I don't even know what our defense is without Cam Taylor Britt, but I know what our offense is, and that right there is the best offense in football. That is the best offense of all time. That it might be the Hall of Fame Super Bowl winning offense. Jay, I listen, 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 listen. Bengals, Zach Taylor, Duke Tobin, Katie Blackburn, a random guy down the street. When Jake Browning goes to his locker this tonight, right? When he when he, the game's over officially, like when you're done all your stuff, ten year contract, sign him. I don't care what he asked for. I don't care if he asked for me. He might ask for me to be like his uh, wingman. I'm okay with that. Just sign him to a ten year contract. Sign him to a twenty year contract. You know what? Thirty, forty, fifty. I don't care. Make up a number. Ask him what his favorite number is, and sign him that many years. He might say 3,000. Sign him to a 3,000 year contract. Okay? Sign him. I don't care what you have to do. Give him all the money in the world. Give him the whole cap room left. Oh my God. Jake Browning. Talk about a first career win. A first career game. To play this type of game, man. 65 points. First off, first off. NFL, we, no, 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 no. NFL, you see what happened on Sunday football? We do a little big Kansas City Chiefs. You know what the Kansas City Chiefs did on Sunday football? They embarrassed you, NFL. They made you look like a joke. They lost to the Packers. You, the team that you love to trash us. You, lo you hate us, NFL, but look at what we did. We gave you some money, didn't we? We gave you a lot of money, didn't we, NFL? I promise you there's a lot of fans watching that game, NFL. Yeah, how about, how about we switch the narrative, NFL? No more Kansas City bullcrap, okay? How about we give us a Super Bowl? So NFL script writers, listen, th th this could be it, right? Jake Browning comes in, he wins the Super Bowl. Oh, that's crazy. Let's do that, okay? Listen, I'm not saying Jake Browning's going to take it to a Super Bowl, okay? I'm not saying that. But I'm not not saying that. I'm not not saying that either. And to all those who were commenting my video saying AJ McCarron should be the starter, AJ McCarron should be the starter, I said it over and over again. He's not going to be a starter. They're not going to be bench Jake Browning. They're going to go one of two directions. One, see what they have in the guy. Or number two, <laughs> win the Super Bowl with him. <laughs> That's number two. Man, I am... Oh, I am so beyond just happy, man. I, th the, the thrill in my heart right now is pounding like insanely. Let's just talk about the stats. 32 for 37, Jake Browning, 354 yards, one touchdown. Got sacked two times. Tyler Boyd, one throw, threw an interception because he tried to sell the game. Jamar Chase ended up throwing a pass behind the line of scrimmage for minus seven yards because he threw a pass back to Jake Browning. Now, see, Jamar Chase redeemed himself throughout the rest of the game. Tyler Boyd did not. So, Tyler Boyd, because of that, we hate you. Jamar Chase, 149 yards and a touchdown in that game. 
the amount of times we could have won this game and we almost lost. We tried to lose. We tried so hard to lose. To any idea that maybe the Bengals were trying to tank. You could make that argument because it looked like at certain points we might have been trying to tank. It kind of looked like it in this game. Tyler Boyd's like, oh, Brock Bowers looks really good right now. Oh, there's Josh Allen. There you go, Josh Allen. <laughs> like, <laughs> he might have been like, all right, man. Joe makes in four, six receptions, 49 yards. I mean, we ran the damn football. What did we do, guys? We ran the damn football. Nine rushes in this game for Joe Mixon. 31 rushes in this game. How do you win the game? You run the damn football. Okay? Run the damn football. And shout out to the chat right now because they're telling me, and this is so true, when we wear our all whites, ooh, we are deadly. Can we wear all whites throughout the rest of the games? We can choose our uniforms, right? Just wear all whites the rest of the year. Every game moving forward, all whites. And Kansas City, you got a place with all whites too. So guess what? <laughs> it's going to happen. It's going to happen again, man. Now, on the real note though, um, again, like I said, listen. Jacksonville, you're a great team. And honestly, if it wasn't for the fact that Trevor Lawrence went down with injury, you probably would have beat us. But you didn't. Because Jake Browning is him. He's Himothy. He's Himothy Rex. He's Hemi Potter. He's Hemipotamix, Rex. He is the guy. He is the Messiah. He is the return of greatness to Cincinnati. He is A.J. McCarron, but before, well, back when A.J. McCarron was A.J. McCarron. And now he's just like a fossil tombed. He's back. And we back. And it's who day, every day, all day. And listen, okay? We are still in these playoff games, okay? We are still in it. And I hate to tell you the rest of the NFL. Because we won, okay? We're 7% chance to make the playoffs. And we're probably going to win these next two games. We're probably going to beat Pittsburgh. Can he pick us out for the season? And then we have to win one of these two games. We beat Cleveland when they have no quarterback. And if we beat the Chiefs, we are in the playoffs. Cincinnati is back. Cincinnati... It's not going nowhere. And guess what? You think we can't do it with Jake Browning? Oh, the Bengals offense, they can't throw the ball with Jake Browning. They can't run the ball. Jacksonville has a great defense. They do. They have an amazing defense. And guess what? We beat the 49ers. We beat the Seattle Seahawks. That does not sound as good as it was back in the day. When we beat the Seahawks, that sounded really good, didn't it? Now, now it sounds awful. But, like, we beat the Seattle Seahawks. We beat the 49ers, okay? I know that was with Joe. We still did it, though. Okay, I just like to I just like to mention the, those things. I think they're kind of fun to mention. You know, we beat the Jacksonville Jaguars. And we're not done yet. You think this season is over. It's not. We had to play the Colts and the Vikings. I'm sorry, both of your teams. We got to play Joshua Dobbs and a backup Gardner Minshew. We play two more backup quarterbacks. And then we play a backup quarterback versus the Steelers. And then, depending on what happens, maybe a backup quarterback versus the Chiefs. And then a backup quarterback versus the Browns. Literally right now, five of our games moving forward are all against backup quarterbacks. Five of our six games moving forward are against... I can't count. I can count. Two. I can't count. It's four out of five. Four out of five raw games moving forward against backup quarterbacks. One game against a quarterback and Chiefs. And you know what's funny thing is? That's a trap game. And we could win that game. I'm sorry. When I said many times that Burrowhead and Burrowhead Stadium and comments about the Chiefs and how Joe... Joe Burrow owns you. I apologize, Chiefs fans. I shouldn't have said that. Because I should have looked toward the future. I should have saw in the future. It's not Burrow had to own you. It's Jake Browning. Now, here's the thing, right? JB owns you. It's just not Joe Burrow. Welcome, Jake Browning. Okay, no, I'm talking to my butt right now. I'm talking to my butt right now. I'm not going to be like, I'm not going to be like the Kansas City Chiefs mayor. I'm sorry, the uh, Cincinnati Bengals mayor. I'm joking, Chiefs fans. That's completely a joke. He does not own you. I am joking. Don't get offended. Don't get upset. I don't have any tissues here, but if you need me to go get tissues, Chiefs fans, I can. 
I know the Packers game made you upset enough. <laughs> Why is the Chiefs catching strays? Why do the Chiefs always catch strays in my videos? I don't get that. Alright, thank you guys for watching. Peace out.